Okay, I'm going to show you in this video how you can wrap a div or division around text. Right now, before you, I just have an HTML document with preformatted text, meaning I have put the H1 on this headline. I can see it right here. I have done H2s, H2 under Cheesy Incarnation, and H2. Again, I preformatted this text, H2, and then the rest is a paragraph. If I preview this web page in a browser, I'll go down here and look at it in Safari. By default, all the text is going to go to the edge to the edge of the browser. I don't want that. I want to limit the width. To do that, I need to add a div around all these, all this text. To do that, uh, what I want to do is select the text, but I'm going to do an encode view because if you select it in design view, you don't always get the whole tag. Like I'm missing in my selection the H1 here. So I'm going to do it in code view. I'm going to select the H1 all the way to the end of my paragraph tag. Now I'm guaranteed everything is selected. I'm going to go insert div. I need to name it something and I'll call it burger text and I'll just call it box. Now my options are, my options are wrap around selection, after start of tag, before end of tag. Wrap around selection is what I want. It's going to wrap the div around what I have selected. And right now what I have selected is all the text. So I'm going to say, okay. Then Dreamweaver does wrap that div around all the text. Here's the beginning of that code. And if I scroll down, I can see the end of the div, okay? By the way, you can always put some code hints in here because you don't get the class repeated. So if you want to know which div ending div that this belongs to, you can add some code hints in here by coming up here and applying an HTML comment. It's just for you and I can say end of burger text. Now I know this closing div goes with this, okay? Now I wanna format this div. So I'm gonna put my cursor right in the class. I'm gonna open up my CSS designer I'm going to add a selector for this class. There it is. I'm going to go to the width properties. I'm going to do pixels and I'm going to say that the text can only be 600 pixels wide. Okay. When I do that, move this out of the way, I can see that now it's condensed in that area. Just to see it a little bit better in the browser, I will also add a background color. So I'm going to go into the background properties here and I'll choose kind of a gray with the return key. And there you can see that now I have actually contained that text. I'll go ahead and preview on the web just to, so you can see it on the web as well. And there you go. I can put all these different bits of text in a box as well, meaning maybe I just want all these paragraphs in a box. So I'm going to make sure that I have them selected. Okay, so I'm selecting them in code view. I've got all the selected, all the tags, and I'm going to go insert div, and I will call this um, burger text box two. To give it a different name and I'm going to say okay. I'm going to put my cursor right in this class name. I'm going to add a new selector for this class. I'm going to come down here in the CS Designer and add it. Okay. Now it's telling me, oh, she wants to format the box that's nested within this bigger box. Is and that's exactly what I want to do. This box lives in this bigger box. I'm going to come to here on this selector. I'm going to go to the width, pixels, and this time I'll make it 
300. Okay. By looking here, I can see that it is now much less as far as pixels. The other one was 600. What I did was I selected here and I'm looking at the width. If I come down here, it's 300. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Let me make it 500. Okay. Pixels. Let me give it another background color so you can see it a little bit better. Under background properties, I'm going to make it maybe a light yellow and hit the return key. What I can also do is add rounded corners if I want. To do that, I am going to go into my layout properties and I'm going to scroll down till I find border radius. Okay, or you could click here, either work. But you just need to look for border radius and I want to have maybe a roundness of maybe 15. I want that all the way around. I'm going to click the middle. Okay. When I do that, I don't see anything happening in Dreamweaver. But if I preview in the web, clicking the button down here, previewing in Safari and saving, say yes again. Now I can see that the corners have been rounded. Let me go ahead and do the same for the gray box. So I need to find that selector, which is right here. Under border radius, I'm going to do, I'll do 10 all the way around. Okay. When I do that, if I look in design view, I don't see anything happening. But if I preview on the web in Safari, save it wants to save the style sheet i can see that i can now see the rounded corners now if i add padding i'm going to try to move this text away from the end so i'm going to add padding to maybe the right and left of these boxes to do that i'm going to go back to these selectors i'll go to this box i'm going to go into the layout properties and i'm going to add padding maybe 10 right and left so i'm going to go ahead and type in 10. i'm going to type in 10 here okay and if i look at design view i can see that i have more space here maybe i'll pop that up to 20 just so you can see it a little bit better okay now i have some padding around this box if i select i can actually see it okay it's not affecting this side because the text isn't next to it let me make that equal. Okay, there we go. Let me do the same for the text that's in the next box. Right, it's right up against the edge. I'm going to go to padding and I will add 20 pixels right and left. Now it moves the text away from the edge. If I click on the edge of the box, I can see that padding. Let me go ahead and preview on the web. Save, and there you go. Now if I look in code view, okay, I don't see anything happening in code view, but if I go to the style sheet, I can see that the rule that was created was the width, the background color, the border radius, padding, I thought I made that 20, I'm gonna put 20 in there, padding right and left for the yellow box, which I called box, two burger text box two the width the background color the border radius the padding right and left if i want to add an image at the top i do have to give myself some room so let me go to code view i want to put the image right above the word put so i'm going to put my cursor right before the code here okay so here's where it starts. I'm going to hit the return key to give myself a little bit of space. I'm going to put my cursor right here. Okay, and I'm going to go insert image. I'm going to look for maybe a logo I have in my image folder. I'm going to go to images and I'll pick a logo file and open it. Okay, okay. it definitely helps when you put your cursor in code view 
where you exactly want something to be inserted. You can try to do it in design view, but it doesn't always work out as well as putting your cursor where you need it in code view.